Bippity Bob. Chase Huntano. Here, the internet's busiest person named Chase. Uh, and I have here with me Iron Man, the oldest release from Marvel Cinematic Studios and part of the MCU. And I felt as though 13 years after it coming out was as good enough a time as any to put in my two cents on this film so that those of you who realize my opinion is the only opinion that matters can finally decide whether or not they would like to go see this movie. Anyway, transition. Iron Man follows the story of Iron Man, played by Iron Man actor Robert Downey Jr. in his role as Iron Man, probably most uh, well-known otherwise for Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3 for his role as Iron Man. He also plays Tony Stark, a billionaire entrepreneurial weapons maker who is kidnapped by terrorists and forced to build weapons for them. Instead, he makes an iron suit and escapes. Upon escape, he decides to change the direction of his company and himself to become the hero we all know as. I'll give you three seconds to guess. Time's up, Iron Man. Thus, we follow him through that journey, and big fights and bald people ensue. Being the first movie in the MCU, we see the seeds of what would grow to become staples of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mainly bring this up to mention Tony's arrogant comedy, which comes across more so as a genuine down-to-earth man who thinks he's better than everyone else, and because he is intelligent, he is also funny. This would later grow to become lessened or very much exaggerated in many other characters of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, following Thor 2 at least, uh, and would become a s large piece in the success of the Marvel films. The grounding pacing and presentation of Iron Man is honestly something I quite miss within the larger Marvel Cinematic Universe, and... While maybe that's a point to be left alone, as we are reviewing it in its own right, it is also something to be talked about on its own, as it does feel like a much more realistic movie. Yes, it is about superheroes and supervillains and futuristic technology and a man who lives without a heart. However, there is a point of a suspension of disbelief, and I don't feel as though the MCU ever takes advantage of my suspension of disbelief. However... What, it does come closest by overusing possibly the comedy tropes of the universe, which is not bad in the slightest. Who doesn't like a good comedy? I love these movies personally, but once in a while it is good to step back and see the slow-moving human grounded dialogue that was Iron Man. Um, and while I don't feel as though all the movies should be that, I also don't feel as though they should be the opposite. A nice mix of both is perfectly what it should be, and going back to see this is exactly what I wanted when I remembered watching this movie. However, if you're James Gunn, please do whatever you want. You are the best person directing the Marvel movies, except possibly the Russo brothers. But I'm not putting in the Russo brothers above you, James Gunny boy. Please, please, just give him whatever he wants. He's going to make another top-tier Marvel DC Scooby-Doo movie but that's not what this is about this is about iron man transition anyway iron man itself it is not some grand turning point in the massive scheme that is cinematic history maybe it would lay the groundwork for what might be considered as much with the mcu and possibly even an influence on the dc movies we have today but i cannot look at it as a catalyst i can look at it as a movie with its well-rounded pacing, one of the best character developments I have seen in a super movie, as Tony Stark remains to be a fan favorite, including of mine, because of the progress he seems to go through in this movie and others. It's a fascinating movie with crazy visuals that I still question about today, even 13 years later. And with that all being said, this might sound low, but that's because the grading school system has failed you. So I give this movie a strong 6. I don't think I could do much better than that. It's certainly above average, but even within its own cinematic universe, I do not think I could put it much higher. So, transition. Anyway, have you given this movie a watch? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you subscribed the video. Chase Montano, currently 
at your mom's house.